I don't know why, why do, one, why do all these products have to be wash and go? Like, why do they have to say wash and go? And then two, why do I have to keep trying? Because I know it's not possible for me. But why not? Let's give y'all a texture shot. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's, that's where we are with it. After the cream, I can show you guys what I mean. Like, I don't know. Oop. I don't, listen. We cannot afford to waste any product, okay? Hey guys, so this week we're gonna jump right into the video because we are super excited to get started with these products and we don't have time for an intro, okay? This is Dove Amplify Textures. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off with the shampoo. The shampoo is their Hydrating Cleanse Shampoo for coils, curls, and waves. And it has no sulfates, no parabens, no dyes, and it's uh, safe for color-treated hair. The directions say, apply to wet hair and scalp, work into a rich lather, gently massaging from roots to ends, rinse thoroughly and repeat if needed. Follow with Dove Super Slip Detangling Conditioner. So that's exactly what I did. So this shampoo surprised me because a little bit did not go a long way, and that's what I'm pretty used to from like natural shampoos so it did a little bit did not go a long way so i did have to uh keep reapplying and uh then when i washed it out i was so happy because it definitely cleaned my scalp but it did not leave my hair feeling like straw it, my hair still felt very good when i washed it out and my scalp was clean and that's the goal of the shampoo so i would definitely recommend this shampoo so this is Dove's Rinse Out Super Slip Detangling Conditioner. The directions say after cleansing with Dove Hydrating Cleanse Shampoo, section hair and apply a generous amount. Gently finger through to detangle and minimize breakage. Rinse for added conditioning and follow with the Moisture Lock Leave-In Conditioner. This is one product I can definitely say where the claims on the bottle did not lie. It was super moisturizing and it was super slippery. This conditioner had all the slip that I needed. I did not get the deep conditioner for this line, but just putting that conditioner on my hair, it made me feel something in my spirit. Mm, just couldn't believe it. So you guys know I like to stay with the line that I'm using, so I decided to just use this uh, conditioner as my deep conditioner, and then I... Uh, left it in for about an hour and we're back so now I'm going to finish braiding my hair I started braiding my hair in the back off camera because you know the back is just hard to do so I just did the back off camera and I've been using the leave-in conditioner and the shaping buttercream so what is the leave-in conditioner supposed to be doing for us uh, for it's supposed to, well, a lot of products will say for all hair types, but Dove decided to break it down even further for us. They said for coils, curls, and waves. Um, and it's supposed to have a moisture amplifying blend that does contain jojoba oil. It says Dove Amplified Textures was crafted to enhance the natural beauty of textured hair. This range with our Dove Moisture Amplifying Blend nourishes and cares for all kinds of coils, with curls, and waves. It says it has no parabens, no dyes, and it's color safe. We love like that. The directions are, after conditioning, section hair and apply a generous amount of the Dove Moisture Lock Leave-In Conditioner. To minimize breakage, use fingers to detangle. Do not rinse, use alone or cocktail with Dove Twist in Shaping Buttercream or Dove Shine and Moisture Finishing Gel depending on hair texture and desired style. I used this, I used the leave-in with the Shaping Butter. So it says Twist in Moisture. We're doing braids today but braids twist simple. This product says it's for coils and curls so no wavy people. The wavy people is left out of this one. Y'all gotta go with the gel. Y'all can't use this. This is for us. Y'all stay away. It says for wash and go, rake, rake evenly, working in sections, air dry or heat dry with a diffuser. For a twist slash braid out, okay. Dove came with some knowledge. They didn't say for braids or twists. They said for a twist slash braid out. 
They know we're taking this out. Um, they say apply the product to each session, twist or braid your hair as preferred. Unwind hair once braids or twists have fully dried. Okay. So they don't say like if there's any level of hold or anything, but it's not a gel so it doesn't have to say that. But it says this product can be used on a wash and go. Now, as far as I've gone in my hair, I've done, the, like I said, I did the whole back. Um, I don't believe that this is a wash and go, even for a, for, a, for a wavy person. This is just not a wash and go product. And I can show you guys what I mean. Like, I don't know, oop. Don't, listen, we cannot afford to waste any product, okay? Um, so yeah, that's not, it's not very thick. If you guys can see, it's not very thick at all. Most people don't use creams for a wash and go anyway, so it's not like it's going to hurt you to have this product. It's just, maybe you wanna use that instead of the leave-in, however you wanna do things. So let's get started, because it's time. Why did I try to take that out like that? I don't know. So these braids are a little bit different from the ones I did in my last video. They're a little bit thicker because I figured I did, did not want to spend that much time on these this time. So I start off with the leave-in. I actually think the leave-in is thicker than the cream, which is kind of strange. Like I want my I want my leave-in to be moisturizing, but it doesn't necessarily have to be thick because I don't plan on using it to style, you know, it's just supposed to be moisturizing. But, let's see what is happening here. It kind of smells like mothballs, if anybody ever, if anybody's grandmother ever used mothballs at the bottom of their trash can or with whatever you use, mothball, whatever else you could use a mothball for. So that was me, I just put the cream in and the, the, the product on it says something about a wash and go. Let's see if that's possible real quick. I don't know why, why do, one, why do all these products have to be wash and go? Like why do they have to say wash and go? And then two, why do I have to keep trying? Cause I know it's not possible for me, but why not? Let's give y'all a texture shot. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's, that's where we are with it after the cream. I don't think most people could get a wash and go from this because it doesn't really have any hold to it. Not, at least not when it's wet. I don't know about when it dries, obviously, because this is my first time trying it with y'all, but it doesn't seem like it has the hold for anybody to do a wash and go. But it's definitely very moisturizing so it kind of feels like I'm using two different leave-ins, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I don't think it's one of my favorite leave-ins, honestly, but I think it's a very good budget leave-in because I think all these products were under $8. I didn't get the deep conditioner because I did not have that ability. It was not at Walmart when I was at Walmart, so I thought it didn't exist. And then I was trying to order it, but I couldn't find a place to order it. So I, I have no, I ha, I, there's no way for me to get that. But why are we talking about the deep conditioner? I don't know. The point is the leave-in. Well, I, that's what happens when you have ADHD. You go one place and then you go another place and then you forgot where you started. It doesn't give any definition or anything, but I, that's not what I usually want for my leave-ins anyway. I want my hair to be moisturized. I would rather my hair be moisturized than defined from a leave-in because that's the purpose of a leave-in to define your, I mean, not to define your hair, to, to moisturize your hair. So as long as my hair is moisturized, we are good over here. That's pretty much all I can say about the leave-in uh, right now before it dries. So moving on to the styling cream or shaping buttercream. Dove, I think you might have wanted to do a little bit more research into what natural people would consider a buttercream 
and also what it takes to define the average head of hair. Because it says that these products were tested on curly, coily, and wavy hair. But I just don't see how anybody that was coily or curly could do anything but a like it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't act like a butter it doesn't act like a gel it it's not as thick as a cream so it can't act like a cream um i think they may have 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 used butter the term buttercream fairly loosely it's not very creamy to me it's well i should say it's not very thick to me because if you guys have ever used the Camille Rose buttercream or the Carol's Daughter cocoa cream buttercream situation or the As I Am double buttercream, you guys know kind of what a cream is supposed to be. I should not, like, I could pour this out and it's, it's coming out. That's not, it's not thick enough for me to do anything but a, a braided or a twisted style. Even a twisted style I feel like would be kind of dangerous to try, but I would try it. But as far as giving any like definition and hold, that's, you know, we have to wait until it dries to see that because uh, that's how we know. But for right now, I'm gonna say that that is a very, that's a very low possibility that this is going to be a defined braid out. I think we're going to have another situation like we did last week. When, we, when I was up in arms. Because that styling, the Texture ID styling queen was no boy, no. I'd be very interested to see if anybody did achieve a wash and go with this product. So, if you guys have used the Dove Amplified Textures, uh, products already please let me know down in the description box in the comment section not in the description box because we speak in english now but now we don't even know the, the words in english but anyway um in the comment section down below please let me know if you were able to achieve a wash and go with this shaping buttercream why they lie to us like that wash and go who is getting a wash and go? So this is that is this whole side done. Now I'm gonna move on to this side and I will be right back. So all finished. Um this is how things are looking right now. I'll be back with Jerry's final thoughts. So stay tuned. Bye! So the leave-in conditioner, my pro I used about half the leave-in conditioner, maybe a little bit more than half. My major complaint about the leave-in conditioner is that it's not as thick as I, a product as I normally use. So when I put it on my hair, I didn't get the, the feeling that I'm usually looking for. So I felt my I felt the need to keep applying more and more like it was not really coating my hair. Um, but that is also a product of me being heavy-handed. I feel like if you want a lightweight leave-in, maybe if you're going to straighten your hair or something, I think this is a really good leave-in for that. But for like a braid out or something, I don't think this is the product I'd be reaching for. Next was the buttercream. The buttercream was not very thick. And when I hear buttercream, I'm thinking it's gonna be a pretty thick product. So I was kind of shocked at how thin it was. It's kind of... It's kind of the same thickness as the leave-in conditioner or less. It's definitely not more thick than the, the leave-in. So I was kind of shocked at that. I was expecting it to be way more thick, but when I put it on my hair, it did feel very good. I actually would have preferred this over the leave-in as the leave-in because it felt a little bit more moisturizing than the leave-in, which was kind of strange. But I was heavy-handed with this one too. I actually ended up using about half of this in one time, so yeah. I don't know what was going on with the stylus. It might not give you the same moisture or definition that you're used to, but my hair, this is the second day and my hair still feels moisturized. Um, it may look frizzy to you guys, but I did separate a lot. You guys may have seen in my last video. So 
I'm okay with how it looks. I actually really love how it looks. I am in love with how it looks. The styling products, I think they just need to do a little bit more work on them for them to be like, great. But for a budget product line, if you're just starting in your natural hair journey, that these would be very good products for you to start with, for you to kind of learn what you like and what you don't like. Cause, but I know what I like already. That's why I don't think that the start, the leave-in and the butter cream work for me personally, because I like my products to be a little bit on the thicker side so that I can get my hair to be way down. Cause I need it to be longer. I need people to see, how the, you know, what I've been growing out all these years. So, all right, that's the end of the review. I have talked about every ten. If you guys have used the, the Amplifier Textures line, please let me know and let me know what you guys think about the line. I personally think it's an amazing budget line, but you guys just let me know down in the comment section down below. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Why are people not subscribing? What are you doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Just go ahead and subscribe. So yeah, after you subscribe, make sure you leave me a comment so that I know you subscribed. And then I can send you a little message like, thank you for being awesome. Because you are awesome when you subscribe. So that's it, I'm done. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.